Hi everyone, welcome to the RPB Resonance Chemistry. Now we have discussed another important lecture in Palladium Catalyzed Cross Coupling Reaction. In this lecture, we are discussing about a Hiyama Cross Coupling Reaction. So the general definition of Hiyama Cross Coupling is Palladium Catalyzed Cross Coupling of Cross Coupling Reaction of organosilanes with uh, organic halides organo halides or triphylates sometimes so we are used in some uh, like sulfonates also organo halides triphylates is called so in presence of like a fluorides in presence of uh, like a fluorides in presence of uh, large amount of base is called Hiyama cross coupling reaction so this is the uh, uh, recent synthesis of palladium catalyzed reaction but it is not useful in uh, like uh, many more reactions why because so so many drawbacks are there in Hiyama cross coupling reaction now the general representation of Hiyama is it is the alkyl halides which are treated with a uh, like uh, organosilanes organo silane compounds these are the like several types so now here these uh, these compound which is connected to the silane uh, here it is it is the carbon atom these carbon atom will attack the or will couple the like alkyl halide electrophilic center now it gives the r2 r dash single bond r2 r dash single bond in presence of a palladium so like a strong basis like a TBAF is the common base. Now here we used 6 to 10 equivalents of base. 6 to 10 equivalents of base. It takes a lot of time around a, a one and a half day, maybe 40 to 60 hours reaction time. 40 to 60 hours reaction time. It gives the like a new CC single bond product. New CC single bond product. Now the only thing is, so in previous cases like Suzuki reaction, argon boron reagents are used. Negashi zinc reagents are still a, like a stannous reagents. In this case, they are used the silicon reagent. But uh, these reactions are very less used in our palladium catalyzed chemistry. Okay. So why? Because here the drawbacks of uh, uh, the limitation of the Hiyama cross coupling is it requires a large amount of base large amount of base now the second requirement is like a uh, here it takes a large time it takes long longer time now the third application is if the common base is a tbaf tbaf that means uh, like a nitrogen tetrabutyl here it is the butyl 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 this is a tetrabutyl ammonium here it is the uh, more number of uh, uh, like bonds here it is the positive that positive will combine with the fluorine ion. so that is called tetrabutyl ammonium fluoride so here we use the base as a tetrabutyl ammonium fluoride so now in case of fluorides so we are used the like alcohol protecting groups are silanes so generally alcohol protected by the silane reagents so now we are used also silane reagents so sometimes it may be uh, presence in the form of silane protecting groups okay now why you used the like a uh, fluoride reagent these fluoride reagent will attack over the silicon then it is deprotected now fluoride reagents used as a deprotecting groups uh, from the silane reagents okay okay now here the deprotection of silane also takes place that is the another drawback deprotection of uh, silane groups okay that is the another drawback so these are the drawbacks again the fourth thing so fluoride ion it's a large quantity it acts as a base so sometimes uh, base sensitive reagents base sensitive positions are maybe affected base sensitive groups are also affected are also affected so these are the main drawbacks of Hiyama cross coupling reaction. Okay, that's why these re these reaction uh, will lessly used in our uh, like a uh, palladium catalyzed chemistry. Okay, now let us discuss this catalytical Tolman cyclization pathway of the Hiyama cross coupling reaction. Now the catalytical pathway of the cross coupling reaction is 
here the palladium so generally palladium l4 that is uh, the, after the ligand dissociation it seems to be palladium l2 palladium l2 so then we add the like alkyl halide that is a oxidative addition step now it becomes palladium r2x here l2 okay so in general the general case it, it will become a cis2 trans isomerization then after like a trans methylation step i don't want to do, go for the all cis trans isomerization then after the trans cis isomerization it takes a large time okay so that's why every reaction follows them okay same manner but except uh, like a uh, uh, suji trost reaction as well as heck coupling they follows the different types okay so based on the criteria now here after that uh, here the trans metallation takes takes place so the trans metallation let us take the like this is the group silicon r r r so let us assume is so it is the like a uh, uh, catalyzer that is coupling a group of a silane chemistry silane compound now here it is the silane uh, silane having the uh, like a tetravalence that's why here it is the neutral so whenever our fluoride from tbaf it is attacked over there then it becomes a uh, si r r r like a r dash here it is fluorine so excess of valency that uh, leads to the formation of negative charge so now here we use that compound fluorine r r r r dash so this is the compound here it is the minus whenever we use the, these reagent over here so these reagent will uh, substitute the halogen group with their silane compound halogen group with their silane compound now these group will uh, will transferred from silane to palladium that's why it is called as a transmetallation step transmetallation okay now here it gives palladium like r r dash so now the remaining elimination group of fluorine r r r here it is uh, attacked by the x uh, it can it keep to maintain the eight minus charge okay now here it is the palladium l2 complex uh, so then followed by the trans cis isomerization after that uh, successive steps of uh, trans cis isomerization followed by reductive elimination it gives uh, this is the as a product this is the uh, product now uh, what uh, the main main thing from the our representation is r x treated with r dash silane chemistry here it is r3 in presence of a palladium tbaf it gives r2 r dash this is the reaction of uh, our catalytical loop this is called a hiyama cross coupling reaction hiyama cross coupling reaction now our catalyst will regenerate it our catalyst will regenerate it now the key step of the reaction is so fluoride ion transport from tbaf to silane chemistry tbaf to silane chemistry that will leads to the uh, formation of our transmetallation group then after followed by the reductive elimination so this is the simplest uh, catalytical loops of a uh, hiyama cross coupling reaction now let us discuss some of the problems now we will discuss some of the problems regarding to the hiyama cross coupling reaction so now here the silane com silane compound here organic halo compound okay now in between them silane attached compound so organic halo compound it forms the like a this type of a product that is a new cc single bond form so now here it forms the new cc single bond new cc single bond whenever we know the application the product formation very easier the uh, 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 like a drawing of structure of a product formation product structure is very easier now in the second case so here it is the silane compound silane attached organic compound here the bromine and fluorine so generally so bromine and fluorine the reactivity order iodine greater than bromine greater than like a uh, uh, chlorine greater than fluorine so this is the order in case of uh, all the type of uh, palladium catalyzer reaction except to comoda cross coupling so in uh, over there i'll discuss what is the difference okay now here uh, in recent synthesis uh, these are the like uh, oms again these reactions are uh, recent uh, organic letter synthesis that is very uh, wonderful uh, like a uh, very wonderful publication journal for the organic so organic letters so now i will abstract these two examples from the organic letters so they are used in the like a uh, boron free compounds boron free com uh, sorry fluorine free compounds so fluorines cannot react in uh, our reaction okay. the fluorines cannot react in hiyama coupling reaction now we will get the product like this so here it is o methyl here it is the compound fluorine fluorine 
so this is the second product now let us discuss the third product here the silicon so due to the largeness here it is it is cannot donate it now isopropyl group can be replaced by the our organic halo compound so now here it gives the compound like a cm so bromine replaced by the our isopropyl group now here we use the k3po4 in presence of like a k3po4 we will get the two uh, like a lesser number of bases uh, used in these reaction in presence of like withdrawing groups okay now the fourth example is here the presence of ligand those type of ligands so will enhances the rate of reaction so instead of uh, like large time it reduces the time okay now here o mesicline groups are salts are also involved in the hema cross coupling reaction O mesicline are also use the Hiyama cross coupling product. So here it is the phenyl group. So here it is the tertiary butyl group. Tertiary butyl group. So the finally we are used the like a borons like here also bromides. Sorry, not borons. Bromides, bromides, bromides. In this case, uh, mesicline are also gives the Hiyama cross coupling reaction. Finally, sulfonide also gives the Hiyama cross coupling reaction. Hiyama cross coupling reaction. Generally, it gives the product. Now here it is the R group. That uh, is the that is phenyl. We will prepare the like biphenyl compounds so through the silane silane reagents. So these are the very simple examples regarding to the Hiyama cross coupling reaction. Okay, now so so many of the students are not getting the my new updated videos notification. Why? Because in startingly uh, I would like to uh, make the YouTube channel for made for kids. I don't know whether it is made for kids or not. So startingly I was uh, click for this option. That's why I'm not getting the my YouTube channel not getting the bell symbol. Okay. So later on that I will change the made for kids to everyone uh, everyone option. So that's why uh, now onwards uh, on few days back onwards uh, it will get the notifications. Okay. If anybody not getting the notification then unsubscribe the channel then after them uh, 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 immediately subscribe the channel and uh, uh, click the bell icon definitely you will get the my upcoming videos okay thank you for watching